This is really killing me. Are you, we're going to. Please. No, we're not. Why? Because literally, all I need to do is shower or go to the sauna. That's not true. Yes, because it is. if it's an infection, like Pierce said, then you need antibiotics in your okay, ear. Okay, well then, once it starts paining me, right now it's just annoying because it's clogged and it's giving me a little bit of a headache. Hope you know that's a cold open. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. And I am Ricola. Ricola. And this here is Frank with a nice little head scarf on. Love to see it. Or a dish towel, what it looks like in the camera. What is it? Try it on. Is it a hat? You tell me. <laughs> oh, Okay. I can get behind this. <laughs> so good. Um, you know, there's a button at your forehead where there's a loop at the end of it and there's a whole thing. It's it's a drying um, turban for when your hair's wet from the shower. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting... Um, what is that? Ramsey's? I don't know. I'm getting somebody. Vibes. Well, it's not my vibes. All right. So that's going to go back on Frank, and this oh, hat Frank. is going to go back on here. All right, Frank, drying himself off for a long pool day he just had. <laughs> Last nice day we're going to have for the rest of the weekend. Why? What's going on? It's going to rain. I like rain. Remember back on Memorial Day weekend, I said all my plans were ruined from the Did rain. get ruined again? Oh, 4th of July. 4th of July weekend. Ooh. Hey, guys, it's the first day of July. Is it? It's the first day of July. It's July 1st. July. July. I know. I'm trying to be like, you lie, but it didn't come out right. Are you lying? I'm Julying. Yeah. It's the first day of July. Summer is just flying on by like a jet plane. And Bill Cosby's free. <laughs> Bill Cosby's free. I tried to read what happened. Listen, what it's happened so was confusing. we talked about him in the podcast. Yeah. Hoagies in heaven. Wonder if Bill Cosby misses Hoagies. Hmm. So I thought, not I mean like <laughs> I'm not defending anything he did, but right. any just the fact that and just one can't more have side, one more side about Bill Cosby. I think every prisoner should get hoagies. Yeah, at least like once a month or something. Especially if you're a Philadelphian, though. I mean, imagine. Yeah, and hoagies in heaven. Yeah, did you look into like what the, something? A uh, a prosecutor had told him he had been you, promised years ago if you talk, you won't go to jail for this. They used that testimony. And and because you can't get charged for the same thing twice. Yeah. It loophole. That's You know what? I'm going to just go ahead and say it. That is the, the, the thing about being rich. Why I see rich people get off. Is yeah, because they you, keep working. You get lawyers that will find the smallest little yeah. detail. And that's why it sucks. Because poor people who actually should be innocent. Right. They can't afford to get those loopholes. Well, I mean, they might both be innocent. But. The, the one has no one working for them. No, but Bill Cosby, that's the, that's the, what people are so upset about, is he admitted. He said, I did this. I, I, I used the, these kind of things with these women. But with Don't women. speak ill of the dead. Bill Cosby's dead? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, and so that's like what this all this yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I, like, I know. You have Bill Cosby who has money. And has I think it was our lawyers. podcast. Uh, well, don't put that bad juju on me. Well, Whatever. Um, maybe he'll come on now he lives up the street you know okay. <laughs> i don't think that's that i don't think we want our claim to fame be the first interview of bill cosby's I, i'll on take the podcast. it the other thing i need to bring up is what we talked about yesterday was the genes and that gene simmons or <laughs> you're right we did talk about gene simmons um no the the, the denim, denim the denim pants pockets. um the the so i said oh it's not fair that women don't get men's pockets but guess what i found out that men are mad that women's jeans have elastic in them, where oh, men's jeans are very rigid and it's yeah. dungarees, and they and men do buy women's jeans for the elasticity. The elasticity. Um, so yeah, what were those jeans that were like back when it was the skinnier jeans the better? Jeggings. Yeah. Or like jean leggings. Right. So um. So you're gonna come out with a revolutionary yes elastic jeans with deep pockets. <laughs> yeah. Because it's 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 over. And they'll say, oh, men don't have hips. And that's why their pants are straight. I think every human being has hips. I know. But you know what I mean? Like, they're not curvy. Yeah. I'm saying, like, the the old time thinking of why we need two different pairs of pants. <laughs> yeah. For, um, so, just, 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 that was just to even that playing field there. That 
men there are is, looking. There's pros and there's there's cons. There's women in men's jeans and men's in women's jeans. Imagine that. Imagine that. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Um, yeah. Any j- big July plans? No. The Fourth of July plans? It's gonna be raining. Um, it's um, not actually oh. around us. Um, a lot of places are are celebrating Fourth of July. When I say a lot, I've heard two two places that are selling like shooting off fireworks on the third. Why? When's uh, the third? Friday? Yeah, no, Saturday. Sure. Before the oh, July is on a sure. Sunday. Hmm. I don't know. But there might be religious places. Sometimes um, people, uh, you know, places do it all weekend if it's a weekend for well, the That's July. why I, I, I would I would have thought it would have been heaven sent. Like, oh, nice. Sunday, and Monday's everyone, a holiday, isn't it? Everyone's off of work. What holiday would it be? Fourth of July. Because it's on the weekend. Don't they give it, don't they push it? I don't think you get any days off of Fourth of July. Because it could be on Tuesday. Fourth of July, you do. We just did a we just did a podcast on this Independence Day. We is a is a federal holiday. Oh, it is. Yeah. So then, what's going on? Why are these places celebrating shooting off fireworks on the third? I don't know, but um, we live in Philadelphia, and we have the big Welcome to America uh thing Welcome at, to America every year. Is that Fourth of July or is that all summer? I thought that was in also. August. I need to thank little Bridget. You want to show that? It's one of the fidgets. You know, there's fidgets these days to help with um fidgety personalities and it's a zipper i i joined two i have fidgety people four. um and you just i'm zippering and unzippering if people are wondering what i was doing and i'm sitting still <laughs> <laughs> as people should do um yeah i kind of have a little bit of an earache oh clogged ear so it's kind of nice because the one ear that's clogged is your side so i can hear you guys i can hear <laughs> the holy spirit maybe it, maybe it is the holy spirit you know like let those have ears here it's blocking me here and I'm hearing the world. Frank and I are offended. <laughs> but uh, yeah, any anyhow, um, July, it's going to be a good month. Uh, the first July, not in COVID. So um, yeah, that's exciting. But, I feel like July is like is a summer month. It's uh, the yeah, summer month. Yeah, 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 yeah. August, for you're sure. you're like getting your last bits of it. Yeah, for sure. June, it's a, it, really June, June 21st is when it starts. Mm-hmm. So it's your first like full month of summer. Right. So get out there, get to the beach, um, get to the, I keep saying the beach, but what do you tell someone in Montana? How do they celebrate summer? They go sunbathe? Maybe like an air conditioned library. But you could do that all year round. Why would it be air conditioned? Go on a hike? They go, Spencer, I told you already, there are waterways all oh, crisscrossing the United States. There's rivers, lakes, streams, ponds, pools, okay. water parks. Get in the water. Hoses. Even if it's your bathtub, <laughs> get in the water. Go get an in-ground pool. Wait, no. Don't go get an in-ground pool. <laughs> go get get an above-ground pool and uh, have a little barbecue. It's the weekend. of We're going into the weekend of barbecuing. Yeah. America. That's what America was founded for. I'm pretty sure it's something about, like, the English didn't believe in barbecuing. Right. And... We said we want to barbecue, but they weren't selling, sending the grills over. Give us barbecue or give us yeah. death. Yeah, and then there was like the Boston Tea Party. Because, iced tea. It was yeah, it was yeah. iced tea, and we're like, we don't drink iced tea at a barbecue. I don't, I don't know. Um, it was something like that. Mm-hmm. A loose fact. Loose. <laughs> <laughs> but no, today is Thursday, guys. Mm. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Which means. Do you feel like dancing? Not really. Not today. I will. Okay. Do you dance? Hit the intro. <laughs> oh. It's Walk Through, Through Thursday. Thursday. Roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cause Walk Through Wednesday just begun. <laughs> What's up, guys? It is Walk Through Thursday. And you know what we do here on the podcast. We open up the Bible. Open up the Bible. And we pick a verse. Verse, verse, verse. <laughs> and we go through it sentence by sentence, walking, line by line, walking. word by word, and we talk about it. We slow it down for once. For once in your life, we're not just going to say, go read the book of Matthew. We're going to say, what does this specific verse mean? What's what does this word here? in this specific yeah. verse mean? You know, back in English classes in your high schools, and you'd read these authors that you didn't care about, and they were apparently these great authors. And you'd talk for an entire 45-minute class period on what the color red meant oh, yeah. in the couch. And you'd sit there and say, this is so boring. Well, this is your boring version of that for the Bible. 
Just kidding. It's not boring. It's exciting. So what do we have today? What's on the what's on the agenda of what we are All reading? Right. On the agenda is something called Joseph and his coat of many colors. Joseph and his coat of many colors. Yeah. Yes. You know, know him? I know him. He got uh, thrown into a ditch. He got thrown into a ditch. By his brothers. Um, I just felt like talking about him. Okay. But the problem was I didn't know... Um, which verse? Which pick? verse? Because you need the whole story to make sense, but I don't care. So we're going to do um, uh, verse 31. Of? Genesis 37. Okay. Well, does... Do, 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 do you want to give an overview of the story itself? And then we'll talk about this one. Okay. So Joseph uh, was a favored child of his father, Jacob, because uh, Jacob had him in old age. And he had a bunch of brothers because Jacob had a bunch of wives. And they didn't like him because they were jealous because he was favored. And he was very um, naive in his actions around his brother's he he would tell them like I had a dream where like I was the best one and you were all like bowing down to me and they didn't they were like you are so annoying and that would never happen and as a matter of fact this isn't going to be a dream we're going to leave you in the woods he had two brothers on board who really weren't into really killing the kid yeah so um the Reuben was the one brother who said let's not kill him. Let's just stick him in this ditch because Reuben had a plan that he'd come back Mm. and get him out of the ditch later and be like, tell daddy that you climbed out, you know? Um, There was another brother who also didn't want to kill him because he, because everyone at this point thinks we're leaving him in the ditch forever. Yeah. The other brother was like, look, here comes some travelers. Let's sell him. (laughs) What a kind brother. (laughs) I mean, I guess it's kinder than killing him, right? Yeah, he's like, I don't want, I don't want to kill him. Let's sell him. So everyone was he he made good, every, good, good, yeah, good, he good, made good. everyone agree that like we're so much better for doing that. <laughs> so they sell him. They say we need to tell daddy that. Um, I think they're adult men. Okay, I don't we, know if they're saying daddy. We need to tell Papa. I would just that we need to tell our father. We need to tell our father. <laughs> well, it's like biblical times. Um, we need to tell Sir Jacob. We need to tell our dad. We need to tell dad. How about our father? When we say our father, it sounds like we're talking about God. No, well, okay. We need to tell dad. I just can't imagine adult biblical men who are out working all day are saying our dad. What would they say? Our father. We need to tell. Okay, I can see what you're yeah. saying. You're thinking like a real Hollywood movie. We need to tell our father that he was eaten by a wild animal. Yeah. So they, I forgot to tell the story about the damn coat. <laughs> They take his. I'll have to let you do that. He, they take his coat, which the dad would recognize. It looked kind of like this, maybe. Uh, and they ripped it up, and they took some goat blood, and they put it on it, and they went home to their father, and they said, "Bad news: an animal ate Jacob." I'm sorry, Joseph. That's where we're at. But I forgot to say what. Why the dad would even notice the coat? Um, because part of him being the special son. He was given a fancy coat that he'd always wear. And it was part of why the brothers didn't like him is because it was always that that prized, <laughs> the prized that brother <laughs> with his fancy coat of many colors. And back right. in the day, a coat of many colors means it costs true. money. True, true, true. You're right. It's not no beige potato sack. You're right. So they were probably looking at it like, you know, when you look at something and you go, every time I look at the shoes that they brought, yes. my brother, for $300, that, w- that could have been... So many things that we needed or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. And, and so it's like, when you start seeing that, it's like, even if our brother was special, it seems like you like him for being him rather than him being good so you like him. Right. If that makes sense. So that's why ripping up and putting blood on and returning that coat, robe, gown, garment, whatever, to the dad was the pivotal part and the part where the dad couldn't deny like he might have said, like oh, this might not be him. You know, it was like no, no denying that it was him. So that's the um, that's the that's the verse I picked. Um, but it it is interesting that in twenty nine to thirty four. So we're looking at um, whatever we're looking at. Genesis thirty seven twenty nine to thirty four. Yeah, we're looking at all of it. Oh, I don't know what we're looking at. I thought we. I don't know. Okay, you pick. I had something circled there, but um. I see we have circled. Um, we can we can talk about. It. I just don't know what. 
you're gonna break down. It's yeah, me seen, neither. It seems very story like. I know, me neither. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm not kidding. I don't even know, but I just felt like doing it. Um, but this is what I want to say was, it's just interesting to me. Like everyone knows the story, not everyone, but the coat of many colors. Is it important? And then also just in this little piece that we have, 29 to 34, we have when the brother finds out that Joseph's not in the ditch, he rips his clothes in grief. Mm. And then they rip Joseph's clothes to trick the dad. And then when the dad sees um, the coat, he rips his clothes. And so, no, I have no idea. I came to you with this to be like, is there anything in here, Spencer? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um Great. So we're just. <laughs> well, you could you could just say the thing I circled, and we'll work from there. All right. So Genesis thirty-seven thirty-one goes as so. Then they got Joseph's robe, slaughtered a goat, and dipped the robe in the blood. They took the ornate robe back to their father and said, "We found this. Examine it to see whether it is your son's robe." Right. So I'm just. Uh, it's a story. Everyone knows it. It's like a Noah's Ark type story. It's a story that we've heard. And I'm just saying, is there anything that we need to remember beyond, like, why the robe? And why did it, for 2,000 years, it was like, ugh, that robe. Um, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> you, I mean, let me not, hey, you know what? I'm Spencer Cartier. Where's my crown? I can talk about any Bible verse, but... This just seems like very not parable. It seems very That's your straightforward. Challenge. That's your challenge then. But no, but like, I Look could... beyond the parable. Look beyond the parable. Beyond the parable. <laughs> parable. <laughs> um, <laughs> those be my parable numbers. 37, 29, 34. Okay. <laughs> that comes up. So, I mean, yeah, let's how about this. Okay. Let's not talk about this verse, but we'll break down each part and okay. then we'll... See so what happens. Joseph's robe is, is the first thing we're going to talk Joseph's about. Robe. Then they got Joseph's robe. Okay. Why was Joseph given a robe? Joseph was given a robe because Jacob wanted to reward him for just being him. And he wanted to identify him out of, they said he had a lot of sons. So he wants this one to stand out. And was that wrong? Were the brothers right to be upset? I'm not saying, we're not, a, we're not at the part where they killed him yet, but isn't it easy to be in those brothers positions and hate young jacob or joseph um well well when you think of it in a normal terms you would say yeah of course everyone was wrong in today's psychology a parent who did that will be setting everyone up for therapy but if it is a parable and now i'm here in parable. parable now i'm here in parable so this isn't a parable. whatever you said it's if it is story. a biblical story um for purposes of in-depth feelings and we do think of god it, it wouldn't be the brother's business to worry that god had given somebody that they that they viewed as um special and mm. then try to destroy it so it's like that uh story of the grapes where or is it grapes where the guy the the landowner goes out right the vineyard yeah a couple times during the day and got workers and so the one, the first worker you got, he said, I'll pay you this much. Mm-hmm. Worker's like, okay. Second guy was halfway through the day. Third guy was at the very end. And they all got paid the same. Right. But, and they were the first two guys were upset. Why'd this third guy get paid as much as me? And it's like, I, you all agreed to how much you'd get paid. Right. And it's the idea of don't look at what others are getting. Right. Worry about yourself. And um, it's funny. I just was listening. Now that I'm, you know, things will come to us. But I was just listening to TD Jakes mm-hmm. on Instagram. Um he it was a clip of his sermon and he was talking about people who actually want to hide what they have because of haters Mm. um and you you get uh, and it was um i think it was like trying to he was talking to the people who were hating like even if you are jealous with your eyes you're hurting those people because these people they want to wear their dress but they want to hide it because they know that people will how'd they get the money for that and who do they think they are and so you can't you can't be your shining star because you have these haters. Um, yeah. So so J- Joseph could have been like, I don't want to wear my robe. My brothers all hate me when I do. Right. He wanted that. Well, because also they're, 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 they're painting him as younger. And we always talk about like a child. So a child would be naive or, or innocent to be yeah. like 
look at my jacket. Don't you love it? You know? Yeah. And not realizing that people would be jealous and not wishing him the best. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, he like never really hated the brothers. Right? No. Because even up till the end. Right. He's like, my brothers. Yeah. Well, he didn't, he, first, he didn't let them know that he was their brother. He's like, my brother. <laughs> Go back and bring your father or your youngest brother. Something like that. Um. Okay. So, so was it wrong? Yeah. Just the same way it was wrong to take the other son, the other story where they take the son up the mountain and kind of yeah. slaughter him. Um. But when you're fulfilling prophecy and and um Joseph was on a path mm-hmm. that God had for him. So yeah, I would guess that message there. But is there something to be said for the two brothers who tried to stop the crowd? Yeah. Are they better, or are they the same? Are they? Because yeah, they they gave half breaks instead of full breaks. Full breaks would have been to tell the dad, yeah, the plot, but they were half in. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I think it would teach you to be full in because I heard that you can't put you can't half put out a fire because it'll flare up again. So, Reuben half put it out. And said, let's just stick him in the ditch instead. Okay. And then the next brother, I forget his name, he half put it out because he said, let's sell him instead. Um, Both of the things were detrimental, but they both were doing it not so much maybe to save Joseph, but to save themselves a murder charge. Yeah. Save like they were like trying to have a clear conscience. Mm -hmm. They still didn't like the brother. Right. But it was like, I don't want to have. It was actually almost more selfish. Yeah. They couldn't have just put the poor boy... I mean, obviously, they didn't know he'd become a king. Right. They were like, he'll die anyway. Mm-hmm. But, you know, hey, it's not right. Not my direct linking. Right. I think they're worse. Um. So, I think, actually, at first glance, you said it was a story that can't be torn apart. Um. The more I look at it... I didn't say the story can't be torn apart. I said the, the one verse you laid out. The one verse. Okay. Because the more I look at it, I'm thinking... They're not torn apart. I think that's the wrong way to put it. Broken down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tear this book apart. Yeah. No. To be learned from. Mm. The more I look at it, the more I'm thinking it can go so many different ways. A rope could even be the human body. Oh, like jealousy. We yeah. haven't even brought up the jealousy of the right. brothers. And I mean, yeah. It's a... And was... The like was one of the reasons, right, why he was chosen because he didn't have in him what they had in them, in their hearts. Like Evil? before, yeah, before it even showed itself. Mm, right. It's like, why wasn't I chosen? This is not fair. I'm going to kill him. It's like the fact that you have that thought shows why you weren't chosen to begin with. Right. Would Jacob, if another brother had the robe, why do I keep saying Jacob? Joseph. Would, would Joseph, if another brother had the robe, have the same inclinations? Probably not. And that's why Joseph is who Joseph was. Right. So that goes to show, you know, it's like um, for for a lot of things, Like I, I think you saw it with Saul. Not to bring out David and Saul every time, but <laughs> you know, like Preston and Steve, Steve we're going to be David and Saul. Um, with Saul, his anger towards David mm-hmm. in part was like or it was pre it was like a self-fulfilling prophecy you're not going to continue to be king because you hate david so much when you hate david because you think he's going to make you not be king right but it was the hate that is is what made that happen right and that's what got you killed was that was the, that whole thing and so same thing with this it's like the brothers are, are jealous and it's like that jealous leads you to show off why you didn't have within you what would have gotten you that shiny coat right and god's plan will 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 be fulfilled yeah so here are people throwing him in ditches Mm -hmm. selling him to strangers setting up fake lies about his disappearance he still shines in the end yeah you can't stop god's plan you can't stop god's plan and um Definitely, and, and on a on a. It's the same thing with the, your David story, you know. How? Why didn't Saul? Why wasn't Saul su- successful in killing him? Yeah, because it wasn't the plan. Wasn't the plan when he went up against Goliath when he fought the right. bear and the tiger. It's all just things that actually set him on his path and right. then didn't put you off your path. So yeah, so I mean, now we, we looked at it from the brother's perspective. 
look at it from Joseph's perspective, mm-hmm. a lot of the times in life you feel like, like imagine Joseph. He's like, I'm go, I'm, I'm the son. Yeah. I'm, I, I dream. I dream to dream. <laughs> um, and then all of a sudden, your own family throws right. you in a ditch. You might and say they were disloyal. Check out the loyalty <laughs> podcast. All of a sudden, your family throws you in a ditch. Right. Um, and you don't you know, like. And in your head, you can think, "Oh, all I, all that was set before me is now gone." And, and it's very, like you know, like oh, you dug yourself into a hole, like <laughs> feeling like you're in a pit that you can't get out of. You're right. All of these things, if you trust God's plan, if you trust the fact that no, I, I was chosen to do to be someone great. I'm not going to let this waver me. I'm not going to let this bring hate in my heart. Right. Because we know if God's the, if God is the devil, if God is love, What's happening. <laughs> I can only hear out of one ear, guys. <laughs> if God is love, the devil is hate. Right. Right. And so you, he never let that get into his heart. No. And yeah. Spoiler alert. At the at the you you kind of mentioned the very end when um he encounters his brothers years later. Years later. He doesn't take revenge on them. He doesn't take revenge. He, he like, so yeah. So what I'm getting at is like, when all hope was lost, God's plan didn't waver. He became a high-ranking um, Egyptian official, and then there was a huge famine. The brothers were starving. The father was starving, and they came to the Egyptian leaders for any kind of food. Mm-hmm. They run into who then is their brother, who holds no ill will. Who could write the better story? Come on, everybody who's Come looking on. on Netflix and so forth. Come on. Read the Bible. <laughs> Read the Bible. <laughs> Seriously. And this is Genesis. So you don't even have to get far right. into the Bible. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, definitely, if all you're going to take from this is from the perspective of Joseph is no matter what's thrown at you, trust God's plan. Because, yeah, like, you might you might get fired from a job. Remember, I said it's always brain of a... <laughs> but he got a spear thrown at him. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, this one is... He got thrown into a, a pit yeah. and sold into slavery, right. expecting to fully die. Right. And he managed to be a high-ranking official in, in Egypt. So as long as you always trust God's plan, there is no pit too right. deep, no situation too grim no. for that God cannot get you out of. And the most important thing I would say is, so yeah, not lose that love. And it really goes back to loyalty, right? Like, right. like is this the loyalty week? Are we having a week of loyalty? Maybe. Um, we talked about this exact thing yesterday. Actually, we probably should have brought up the story. Yeah. Where your fam? We talked about family loyalty. Forced, forced loyalty, which and, they seem to not have. <laughs> well, yeah, but I, I think he sort of had like a loyalty to them. He did, yeah. And they completely broke that. Mm-hmm. And like we talked about yesterday, I think the one biggest thing is he had a loyalty to God. Right. And therefore, he never let hate get into his heart over right. broken loyalty. And that is what, I mean, and I think when when I always talk about these overarching themes in the Bible, this is kind of the stuff I'm talking about. It's like right. when you see broken loyalty, and then who is the who is the one you know? Like, because especially when you look at Old Testament, yeah. New Testament, we focus on Jesus because obviously Son of God, God on Earth, and and but when you look at the Old Testament, that's where you really want to see the ties. Why is Joseph special? Right. Why is David special? Right. Why are why are these specific people special? And then you see what their similarities are. True. Okay. They were done this they were done wrong, but they didn't ever let no. um hate in their heart. They didn't let um their faith get wavered. No. And then the the world was opened up for them. Right. And like so nowadays you away. see like superhero stories. Yeah. Their origin story. Yeah. Oh, it's because these things and then he turned into a supervillain. Yeah. And what what more origin story do you need to turn into a supervillain? Yeah. Than what had happened to him. Yeah. But no, he did not. He did not. And and that's the that's the biggest takeaway. And that's why, you know, we say God is love, is because nowhere in the Bible will yeah. you find someone who was chosen by God. These people that are chosen to carry on God's message is people with hate in their heart. Right. And then when when you do get people like Saul, it's like that's when God said, like takes away his crown and says, David will right. not take your place. But the people that we read about over and over, they always chose love. Yeah. No matter what. And if and if, and when you read the story and you know it already happened and you know how it ends, you go, Oh, they took him in the woods. Oh, they pushed him in a ditch. Oh but it, imagine 
the first time, you know, each thing that happened to him mm -hmm. felt like the end. It yeah, felt like yeah. he could not get out. No, that's a very good point. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, when you have the whole story, it's like, yeah, okay, but he became the, the right. high-ranking official in, in oh, Egypt. Right. Like, yeah. I don't really feel that bad for him that he went in a ditch. Right. But a lot of people should be reading this knowing that you're still in your life. You're still in the ditch. Right. Or you just got sold to Egypt. Right. Like, you you don't have your full story yet. Right. And understand there was a point where all Joseph had was the walls of the ditch. Right. You know, like, maybe they just see a little bit of the sky. The confusion. The confusion. Well, I thought we were friends. I thought, <laughs> I thought we were friends. And, and the... the, the Helpless, helplessness yeah, feeling, yeah. but kept that faith and, and you keep that faith too. Keep your colored coats on. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, that was Walk Through Thursday. You're we did it. You're making it harder every I week, know, but I know. we keep on pushing. Um, let us know what you think down in the comments below about this story or if you know the story. Um, yeah. If you don't, I recommend it. Genesis 37, which probably starts before that, but. Genesis 30s, early 40s, somewhere in there. <laughs> Check it out. Recommend it to a friend. Um, yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow for Fun Friday. I'm guessing it's going to have something to do with loyalty. <laughs> at, at this point, it has to, right? Um, yeah, so go out. Don't throw anyone into a ditch today. If you are in a ditch, you'll get out. Oh, yeah. Peace.